Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is going to be a six months of empties video. It is the middle of the year and we're finally done. Can you believe it? We're done with half of 2023. I feel like it was just 2022 yesterday. So if you're curious about my look, I will have a video up on this latte look and I'll be putting it up here and down below. So please go ahead and watch that. And also a quick message from me to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you subscribing, liking this video or hitting that notification bell or even commenting down below what you'd like to see next. I do appreciate your support with my growth in this platform and I am very very happy to be here and and very grateful so yeah let's just get rid of the sappy stuff and go ahead with the video so most of these are skincare related and like shower related and there are some makeup as well the first we can go through is the shower stuff first empty is the skin fix resurface glycolic renewing scrub i really like this scrub but it's really expensive i just wanted something that after you shave it will make you feel better it will reduce the ingrown hairs and so i bought this and i paired it with other creams and other lotions and i do really Really like this the only thing is it's very expensive and so I see myself repurchasing this but not anytime soon maybe if it goes cheaper if it's on sale and I'm currently on the hunt for a dupe for this so I really do like it but yeah price points pretty high next is this EOS Shea butter shave cream I do not like this this is not a shave like fluffy shave poofy cream this is literally like a cream cream and if you like that when you shave that's great good for you but i did not like this i thought it was gonna be more like a poofy aerosol like creamy texture but that was not the case with this and i did not enjoy my experience using this i will not be buying this again and i'm so happy i finished it I wanted to throw it out. It's not that bad, but it's just not something I prefer when I shave. Goodbye, I'm not buying you again, I'm sorry. Next, this is the anti-pollution Ives Rocher shampoo. I really don't know how I feel about it. It feels like a normal shampoo, and I will not be repurchasing this. I just feel like it's like a normal shampoo, and I have my L'Oreal stuff that I really, really love. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna go for this again. One thing I couldn't even finish, okay? I couldn't even go through with this because of how bad the product was it is just it clogged my tub that's how bad it was we had to call someone to come in to unclog the tub this is the heritage color check color hair mask and does nothing to my hair i don't feel like it's nurture to my hair it, it it it's it's clumpy and when you when you wash it off it just gathers in the tub and it stays there and it doesn't melt and you can't do anything you need a plumber so these are the ives rocher shower gels they come in several scents i have to say the scents are wonderful but they're normal shower gels so i guess the experience of it is great especially if you like certain scents i definitely think you should go check them out to see if there was a scent that you like for example this one in orange it's like an orange chocolate it's so dusty because it's been here for like six months but this orange fondante it smells like orange chocolate and when i say orange chocolate I don't mean the artificial orange I mean the real orange chocolate. I wanted to eat this, but of course you can't eat it. Will I repurchase? Not really. I don't think that orange chocolate is something I like in the shower. I prefer more like lavender scents, vanilla scents. But yeah, if it's your game, then go for it. So this one is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I don't like this. My sister actually has the big version right there. I'm looking at it right now. She really loves this stuff. And I just don't enjoy it it's fine for my hair when it gets really greasy but it just the smell the smell i just can't with the smell i feel like there's more like dry shampoos out there that might be more effective for my hair because when i use this i don't feel like it really like latches all the oils i feel like it still looks greasy at the end of the day and i feel like i get dandruff after like several days of using this and i just don't like the feeling so I am still on the lookout for a good dry shampoo. But yeah, this one I won't be repurchasing. So this one is the L'Occitane Oil to Milk Face 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 makeup remover and this is really good it's like it's a it's a weird sensation so it looks like a yellow oil and then you put it on your face and it turns into this like whitish milk situation so when it says oil to milk it's seriously oil to milk and then you can wash it off with water which i really really like it's very effective when rinsing out your facial products not so much with mascara but i do like this will i repurchase it i'm not sure because i really want to try the clinique 
take the day off cleanser this is really good though and if you're looking for like an oil-based makeup remover you should definitely try this so this is the origins mega mushroom skin relief micellar water this is really nice but I have to say, I think it will work better with the whole Mega Mushroom line. I have tried their Mega Mushroom stuff, skin stuff, and I really, really enjoyed them. And this micellar water, I feel like as I was using it, I didn't really see or feel any different. But when I was using the other Mega Mushroom stuff, I felt like there was some changes happening to my skin. And so if I do decide to repurchase this, I would probably repurchase like the whole line. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Solution. Okay, I finished this. I bought a new bottle and I was gonna buy this forever and ever and ever but I found a replacement which is also in my empties bin right now and so stay tuned for that I love this stuff this definitely has a place in my heart and in my skincare routine before I met my other lover I just felt like this was doing so well for my skin it I, I just felt like if I stopped using it my skin would change and I just feel like my skin absorbs more of that whatever product I would put on it because of this and I feel my, my skin looks better I really did love this and I still do but I met someone else so Paula's Choice recently came to Canada and I'm so freaking happy because they are selling their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant in store where I can literally grab it myself. And this has quickly replaced the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Solution. I just feel like this one, it feels different. I noticed an immediate difference when I use this and it's just so much better than anything I've ever used before. My skin looks better. When my skin is like irritated and I did not do my skincare for a while, I use this and after two nights, my skin's like, oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. And so I am always going to repurchase this. More in skincare. So this is Crave, the great barrier relief, like oil moisturizer situation. And it's got tamano oil, sunflower oil, rosehip oil. I don't see anything with my skin. I don't know. I, okay, when I use skincare, I expect to see some changes on my skin. I expect my skin to be like, you know what, Sahar? You're doing me a favor. You're taking care of me. I like you. I'm gonna be good for you. This is not the one. This, is, it sounds good on paper, literally on paper, but I don't see anything happening on my skin. I know for some people, this is amazing and good for you for making it work for you, but this just did not work for me for the price I paid for this. I just think that there's other things I could be spending my money on and so I won't be repurchasing this. But this though, the Ordinary Niacin in my 10% 1%, I love this. I actually have a bigger bottle right now because I finished this small little bottle and I love this. I use this every single day without fail right after my paula's choice bha i use my niacinamide i cannot stop using this because i feel like everything is going better with niacinamide this one definitely a repurchase this one is the inky list retinol um thing ret retinol serum i have some issues with this okay so first of all i don't even know what the percentage of retinol this is I, I don't know it just says retinol and that's kind of disturbing to me because I have the ordinary one I finished this and I bought the ordinary in squalene one and there's like 1% 0.5% so I know but this one I just I don't know so it kind of scares me and that's why I'm not repurchasing this it was fine I, I liked it I don't really find the need to repurchase this one especially if I have the ordinary version Second to the last in skincare, this is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30. When will this not be in my videos? I use this all the time. This is lightweight. You can put this underneath makeup. I use this every single morning before I put makeup on and I love it. And last in skincare, this is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Okay, the only reason why this is here is because it went bad. It's now like a weird putty mess. I have two bottles of these, I have two tubs, and the other one is like this beautiful, creamy, moisturizing tub, and this, I can't even get it to spread, so I think it went bad, and so that's the only reason why it's in here, because I can't use this anymore. Okay, so everything else is makeup related, and let's get into the first thing. This is the Sculpt Glow by Focalure. I do have a video, and I'll be linking that up here. I love this so much. I love this to death. I almost did not want to throw this out, but this has been with me for years now, and it's gone bad. Yeah. 
Whew. Yeah, it's gone bad. You can definitely tell from the smell. The product in this, this is in the shade 03. The products are amazing. This is the perfect contour shade for me. It's almost gray toned, so it looks like a shadow, but it's not too dark. It is my perfect shade for contouring, and I haven't even found a perfect shade yet, so I have been keeping it for this shade, but it smells too bad that I just can't anymore. Next is a foundation. No, this is a concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer, and yeah, okay, so it's not empty, but it's gone bad as well. I just bought this like a year ago and it's gone bad already so I probably bought a bad batch it almost smells sour for some reason I do love this though it's gone bad so that's why I'm chucking it okay so the next one is this bounce curl mascara from Maybelline I actually really enjoy this one it's really dried up now and the claims to this is you don't need a curler you can just use this and it'll curl your lashes very well and I do believe that it does curl your lashes without a curler I do enjoy enjoy this a lot but there's just so many mascaras in the drugstore that I absolutely love and so I could repurchase this they have a new one up it's the purple one and I will be purchasing that definitely to try that out but this yellow one I don't think I'll repurchase it just because again there's just so many out there in the drugstore and I just want to keep trying out new things one thing is the H&M super fine brow liner I have talked about this so many times on my channel and this is probably like the 15th pen I've finished. So this is my favorite brow pen. This looks exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like the brow definer thing. It also looks like the one from NYX, the really fine pen that they have as well. But this is so much cheaper. H&M always has like 30% off sales that I wait until I get these. I love the shade Espresso. That's my shade. They even recently repackaged these. I remember the original package and they do not look like these. They look so much better though. And yeah, I have like two more in my drawer. That's how much I love these. They are just the best eye product on earth. Another eye product. This is the GXVE eyebrow product. And this is in the shade 2. This is a taupe shade. I found this like on sale at a winner's which is kind of like a target and I have to say it's fine but if this was full price I would not buy it I like it I love the packaging looks so nice and sleek and beautiful but I just feel like it's so hard to first figure out where is the pen side and where is the brush side and at the same time it's not like my favorite formula I definitely prefer the H&M one which is like a quarter of the price now these are two mascaras that I thought was like really good but I just bought the travel size just to see if I liked it this is the Ilia Limitless and the Ilia Volume Mascara. I like them. The only weird thing is my eyes get really, really watery at the end of the day. I can't wear these without my eyes getting irritated. I do enjoy the formula. I just don't know why my eyes are reacting so badly to these mascaras. I stopped using them, symptoms went away, and unfortunately, I won't be repurchasing it because of that. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black. I actually have the blue, no, not the blue. I have the brown and another black of this because this is my favorite liner in the world. This is already like, oh my gosh, yeah. It, there's still ink in it, but for some reason, the wand is completely broken, and I can't use this without spilling ink all over myself. I love this so much. This is the best eyeliner at the drugstore by far. It's so black, it lasts all day. The brown one though, not the best. Don't get the brown one. Get the Physicians Formula Brown Liquid Liner. Definitely repurchasing this. Last but not least, this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc, and I think I think, I think it's just gone bad because it looks funky it it's like it's all separated and stuff I use a lot of this this is almost empty and I use this almost every single day when I would do my foundation the only problem is I think the shade is too light for me it does like become pinky at the end of the day which I did not really enjoy I thought this was my shade but apparently it's not NARS doesn't seem to have a shade for me no matter what their foundations are and that's why I purchased the House Labs one. The House Labs one is my exact shade. This is the shade Light Neutral and I really want to try the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation but yeah, it's just, I can't find my shade. I thought this was my shade but it's not. I like this, it's just as I grow older my skin started to change and so it didn't really like this at the end of it. 
I feel like my oily t-zone was fine with this but my dry cheeks did not enjoy it very much okay there you have it those are most of the items that I have enjoyed or not enjoyed repurchased or not repurchased the last six months in 2023 I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like this video subscribe and ring that notification bell to be informed when I upload also comment down below what you'd like to see next I am a small content creator and I do appreciate all your support on my growth in this platform and again thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video bye